Hello and welcome to our Talking Points. Now, for those who are new to our channel, firstly, welcome. This is the meeting place for future millionaires. Now, at the Wealth Masters Club, we've made it our duty to help every citizen learn the basics of how they can start to plan their financial futures in order to create their own generational wealth through the correct structures. Now, the basis of every house is a sturdy foundation, and the same goes for investments. Now, without the correct foundations or structures in place, you will never be able to correctly control your wealth and assets. So we're here to help you understand that a little clearer uh, with our topic this week. Of course, today we'll be taking a detailed look at trustees of a trust. And joining us again is our legal eagle, Mariska Fonsell. So Mariska, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Hi, Damien. Thank you for having me. Now, Mishka, what is a trustee in the sense of a trust and why is it necessary to have one of them in place? A trustee is appointed by the master of the High Court of South Africa to administer your trust. They control the assets for the benefit of the beneficiaries. And in order for a valid and legal trust to be registered, you will need trustees as they will be authorized to do certain transactions and especially to maintain the assets for the beneficiaries. And Mariska, what are the legal obligations of a trustee should you become one? Well, the most important obligation a trustee can have is to act in the best interest of a trust as well as the beneficiaries. In the event that the trustee failed to do so, they can expose themselves to personal liability. Although they enjoy discretionary powers, they cannot just exclude certain provisions of the trust deed and must adhere to that as well as act together. Now, if you want to become a trustee on trust or somebody appoints you as a trustee, do you need to have certain skills or knowledge uh, in place or is this something that can be learned or helped by somebody else? Well, trustees must have knowledge of trust and where they do not know certain areas, they must ask the independent trustee and get proper advice. And this is in order to act in the best interest of the trust as well as the beneficiaries. Uh, independent trustee in must, in my opinion, also have knowledge of other laws as well as other transactions as the trust law does not include every detail. And Marishka, in terms of a trust, or somebody becoming a trustee, how does that process work? How do you become a trustee? So the first form you will be asked to complete is a J417 acceptance trustee form. This form includes your full names, ID number, address, and there is a few questions that must be answered honestly on the form, as well as signed originally. Uh, there will also be a resolution signed by the existing trustee, and they will agree to this person's appointment. We will then lodge these original documents together with a valid certified ID um, to the master of the High Court and the master will provide us with a new letters of authority where the person will now be appointed as a trustee of that trust. Now earlier you spoke a little bit about the independent trustees. So obviously there are different, um, let's call them roles within a trust. So what's the difference between a trustee and independent trustee and a beneficiary? So the trustees are the administrators of the trust and they must make sure that the trust runs smoothly. The beneficiary is the person who will benefit from either the capital or the income of that trust. The independent trustee, the independent trustee have no financial interest in the trust, but is also a trustee, kind of the watchdog trustee that oversees the other actions. And now, obviously, uh, every trust needs to have an independent trustee as a legal obligation. In the event that they've appointed an independent trustee or a regular trustee, what happens if the founder of this trust sort of loses trust in that person or they decide they do not longer want them to be part of that trust? How is that handled uh, legally? I would say it's more the case where trustees or beneficiaries does not want trustee to act anymore. Um, in the event where a trustee does not want to resign, you may turn to the court. A trustee will not just be removed and each case will be different. So the court will usually look um, at especially whether or not there is neglect from this trustee and whether the beneficiaries will be negatively affected in any way. 
It is also important to note that a court does not take the removal of a trustee lightly. Fantastic. Now, obviously, we've just scraped the surface. There is so much more detail to go into with relation to trust and how to manage your trust and the benefits of a trust. So like I mentioned in the beginning, the structure of your wealth is obviously the most important thing you can ever do. So you need to be sure that your structures are correctly set up to protect your family and your future generations. Now, if you want to find out more, please visit the link in the description below and register for our free webinar, which is taking place this weekend, which will give you a whole lot more information about how you too can put the right structures in place so that you are protected as well as your assets. And that is the base of becoming a future millionaire. So Marisha, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. We look forward to chatting to you again soon. Thank you so much. Great stuff. We'll see you all next week again. Bye-bye.